Hello and welcome back to the chaos. Um, okay, so today we are going to have a look at one of the new aircraft included in the 40th anniversary update. Um, it's a what appears to be a really nice version of the Helen Beaver. Um, it comes in two varieties, one with one amphibian and one not. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to take a quick look around it. We are currently parked at, I think it's Cark, um, an airfield up in the northwest of England, just south of the Lake District, um, right on the coast. So we're going to jump in, figure out how to start her up, and probably take a bit of a flight north to see if we can go and find Lake Windermere and maybe put her down in Lake Windermere. I mean, we could just go south and stick her in the sea, you know, about half a mile, but that wouldn't be fun. <laughs> Let's just zoom up sort of towards the mountains, towards Windermere at least, anyway, and see see what happens, see how it goes. Right, okay, let's jump in first. So, um, it's lovely. It, it looks fantastic inside. Um, the only thing I've really got to compare it with, I think, is, at the moment, is ones I've flown in X-Plane. There's one particular beaver in X-Plane I really like. It's actually one of my favourite aircraft to, to fly in that. But, I mean, look at the detail on the... Um, uh, look at the detail there. Just the scratches, the weathering... Well, weathering, you know, the, just the wear and tear. Let's see, let's have a look, see how close we can get. No. Yeah. Yeah, you can see sort of the light on the panels there. It looks absolutely wonderful, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit dirty. It looks a bit beaten up. It's pretty damn awesome, to be honest. Um. There is a panel here where you can control various other things because this is a third party aircraft by the look of it. Um, so you can do things like change the spinner. There you go, you got a matte spinner. But who doesn't love a bit of chrome? Go back, there's your chrome on. Um, these are engine off things here, I think. <laughs> Anchor. Oh, nice. You got the cover. Look at the paddle on the inside there. That's quite cool. Right. You can choose to have it carry in a canoe. I love it. I love bush flying, so stuff like this is just... Oh, it's just great. Let's leave the canoe there for now. A uh, few internal options as well we've got. Um, you can either choose to have GPS, or if you want to go a bit more old school, you can just have uh, analog radios there. Uh, um, choose what um, controls you want, what actual um, instruments you want, sorry. Uh, ADF DME or dual VOR CDIs. Co pilot visibility off because there she is. Um, and aircraft vibration. Now I've tried this. Oh no, let's leave, let's leave it on because that's right. Let's see what we get. That'll be interesting. Uh, and currently I've got it set for a cargo cabin. Also, open all the doors. So you could be like doing, um, Provision runs and things out in the bush or whatever or going on there. Camping trips or, or whatever you would like to to do with it. Or you can you can actually don't also change it to 
passenger cabin. Bit dirty ratty old seats, but I love the tech the texture on the seats looks good though. You know, from the back as long as you don't get too close. <laughs> but nice. It look it's bloody gorgeous to be honest. Uh but it's right up my street. It's you know type of aircraft I like to fly to be honest. Nice sounds as well. Um, we've got a decent pair of head headphones on. It's getting that 3D sort of effect of where they're coming from. Right, okay. How the hell do we start this thing up? So we've got our throttle, our prop, and mixture here. Um, you got your flaps um, indicator there. Got your yoke there. Um, I'm going to take that off visibility wise just for now just so we can have a look around see what else we've got in here um nothing else clickable down here yeah a water ruddle rudder okay you got your fuel tank selector um magnetos starter fuel boost bit of heat lights various lights Landing lights, strobe lights, instrument lights, radios and batteries. Um, on, wobble pump, carb heat, fuel cut off, and an oil filler cap. The autopilot there, transponder and ADF. Uh, what we got here? Fuel tanks. Front, rear, and middle. This caught me out the other day when I did have a go at this. Because I just assumed that on the left-hand side it was the front, the right-hand side it was the rear, and the one in the middle was the middle. Yeah, I, I forget that, because I, I make that mistake when I've flown it on x before. Right, okay, and back here. Let me give pump. We've got... Yeah, that's about it, I think. Rudder, rudder trim up there and pitch trim as well. Okay, right, let's give it a go. Um, um, definitely need battery on. Um, we're doing both at the same time. Will that work? Oh, I know why. Yeah, because completely like a stupid thing to, to actually remember, you know. There you go. There we go. Lovely sounds again. I mean, really appreciating it with a, a pair of head, headphones on. I don't know if I'm following any correct procedures or not. I just like to fly these things and figure out how they can, <laughs> figure out how they work as I go along. That's the type of stream you will get with me. <laughs> right, okay. Uh yeah, nothing air present. Um it's still early morning where I'm flying this at the moment. Uh, 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 uh. Gives a bit more light in here. I'll leave it off for now. Okay, we have got parking brake down there. You know what? I'm gonna yeah. I'll switch radios on with some GPS and that on and everything. There you go. We're gonna switch the radios off um, as far as receiving audio. Um, I 
is speeding up. There we go. Okay. That's good, isn't it? Where I realise I've got my pitch control, my um, controller. Okay. <laughs> I had had my um, my axis set right at the bottom, <laughs> so. Um, as soon as I touched it to adjust it, it went to zero <laughs> and just cut my fuel off. Yeah. Right, okay, we are going to go taxi out and see where we get, get with it. So, parking brake off. at the wind we're gonna to have to back taxi here I think I don't know is that a crosswind yeah it is I'm halfway down here now anyway let's adjust the flaps Again, loving the sounds. Um, yeah. Okay. Throttle up. Gear come up on the floats. I'm out. Okay. Hear that rattling noise? I love it. Manchester Center Chaos 66 is Type D Havilland, one mile southwest of Charlie Alpha Romeo Kilo, 1,000 feet. Request flight following. Why have I got her on the north? What's it mean? Turned all the radios off, but she's still um, she's calling <laughs> out. Right, okay, so we are going to head to the north. There we go. Bit on the dark side still at the moment. I think it's like a, it's pretty much morning. Yeah, sun coming up over there. But I'm really loving it. So, Barrow in Furness over there. 
that is I think that's Windermere over to our right I think it's a big lake anyway pretty sure it is it's one of the lakes in the Lake District and that's what matters <laughs> um, yeah we're gonna basically um, just do a water landing and, and just fly it down that, that sort of valley Right, let's, um, let's adjust the, uh, ooh, that's a bit weird, I know on the X-Plane one, where I've um, started to lean the mixture the manifold pressure's backed off a little bit, but there's absolutely nothing showing on instruments. Not even in tone. I'll leave it leave it there for now. the way the sunlight's coming in there from behind into the cabin that's great I mean detail in it is great it's just wonderful this as part of a free update I mean holy crap <laughs> I mean what can you say circuit breakers there and these are all clickable functional Panel lighting adjustments, alternator. So yeah, pretty nice. Notice these as well here, you've got an actual uh, tension tension dials for the uh, for the levers. Sort of like you have on your on your like throttle or your, your stick maybe. Loving the the sound effects are brilliant. So I'm doing a slightly too fast of a dive. Um, I wonder if the weight of the canoe is modelled. <laughs> That's me being picky now. Oh god though, but it, it's, it's damn lovely. Okay, 
Ah, feels like I'm going a bit on the fast side. No, I'm not. There we go. How gorgeous is that? <laughs> Can you tell I'm a little bit excited about it? <laughs> oh, look at the little, yes, yeah, so the little water rudders there. On the back of the floats. Love it. Okay. I mean, this game is, you know, this sim is just getting better and better and better. Absolutely loving it. Oh, let's pop them flaps up. Yeah, so we're heading up into those mountains. Used to come up here quite a bit on um, like walking holidays and that. Some amazing sort of scenery. Some great mountain valleys to fly down as well, to be honest. Um, so, called the Lake District because hey, there's lots of lakes. Oh no, it's a, it's got a good dirty windscreen as well. I just noticed, look at that. <laughs> Can you clean me windscreen please? Um. <laughs> Brilliant. Thing where I look away from what I'm doing and next thing you know I'm taking a nosedive into something so I like to do a lot of low flying stuff as well especially because um, I like a bit of sort of fast jet action normally in DCS world <laughs> And I've done a fair bit, you know, you might have seen other videos where I've done the Mac loop in North Wales. I need to come and spend a bit of time up here, I think, and go and do some some mountain flying. Because they look gorgeous. I mean, look at the way that light's looking um, on the top of those hills. You know, we've got a lot of, because of the, the weather conditions at the moment, it's pretty cloudy. But where that light's coming through, it's just stunning. Let's see if we can get down a little bit. Go down one of these valleys, maybe at least. Before we, uh, before we finish for this, this video.
but if you haven't tried it yet um, and you've got you've got Microsoft Flight Sim give it a look I mean it's it's gorgeous it's a bloody lovely aircraft yeah it, it looks beaten up beat up and battered because because it's an old aircraft but yeah it's the bee's knees um, all right let's get get down a little bit lower see if the light changes as we get down here I'm not playing with, tr I mean, I play a lot in VR and use track IR quite a bit, but I'm not today. I'm just, because I just find it hard to do videos <laughs> while using those devices, but I'm just using a tiny little thumbstick to, uh, to move the head view on it. Need to try and I haven't tried any sort of flight characteristics out on it yet, seeing if we can throw it around a little bit, seeing what the stall um, characteristics are like on it. I might give that a go in a second. I don't do hyper technical videos, as you can tell. For me, it's just about the whole sort of love of flying because I can't afford to do it in real life much. <laughs> You know what I've done? Shit. <laughs> I have just ran one of the tanks dry because I've running, been running on like a super rich mixture all the time. <laughs> It's like quick we're gonna die <laughs> oh god so just a, a hasty quick shift of tank there oh we are not gonna get out of here in a hurry Let's get a bit of uh, a bit of altitude because we ain't gonna get out there that easy. Yeah, you know me saying I'm not, I'm not that technical. <laughs> Look how stunning this the Lake District looks on this though. It's oh. Right, we're going to find some water to put her down in very shortly. Let's just back off the throttle completely a minute. Nose up. Oh shit, guess he hasn't turned the fuel pump off. Yeah, 
she just dips her nose. No wing going down. Um, Right, we see some water ahead there in the distance. Um, let's go and uh, let's go and put her down there. But I can see me doing a lot of flying with this. <laughs> Probably, with, I'm not one for float planes generally, but I thought I'd give it a go. But um, I could definitely see me doing something with this. A lot of bush flying with this. There is another version uh, included that is just bog sanded wheels. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna head over there. We're doing a little bit on the fast side, to put it lightly. Okay. Notice I'm concentrating because I've gone really, really quiet. <laughs>
Yay, I'm alive! <laughs> Let's go. I can see it's a. A little sort of um, area over there, I think. We can. Uh, we can go and, you know, park up on the beach. Well, on the beach. On the side of the lake. Go and have, like, you know, um, afternoon tea. Even though it's like, well, 8, 9 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> this, you know, nice, civilized day out in the country. <laughs> I wonder if it'll let you just beach it. I mean, could put the could put the wheels up. <laughs> and there we go. The quite wonderful VHC Two Beaver. If you got that right, right. Let's shut it, shut it all down. Uh, what we got? What we got? What we got? There we go, it just <laughs> ends a flight for us. 21 minutes. DHC2 Beaver Amphibious Float Plane. So, thanks for um, flying with us. Catch us again soon. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I'm doing various aviation videos between this DCS world, uh, other sims that I'm into. So, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.